Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I will be using the new 35S palette from Morphe, also known as the Sweet Oasis palette. Karen did a whole promo video slash shoot for this palette, and honestly, anything that Karen puts her face on, I want. <laughs> because I love her so much and I just want to support her even though she is prom just promoting it. Also, I saw on her Instagram that she posted this picture, which I'll show you right now. I don't know if you guys can see that, but Lipstick Nick did this eye look on her and I just fell in love, which also pushed me to get this palette as well. It's such a beautiful, different eye look and I wanted to recreate it for you guys. So if you guys want to see how I did this look, then just keep on watching. So I already did prime my lids with the P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade Rumor 2. The first shade I took out of this palette was this beautiful blue right here. Or should I say like a bluish green called Secret Lagoon. For the more tapered brush, I'm taking my E25 blending brush from Sigma and I'm taking the Secret Lagoon. The first thing I'm going to do is create an outer V with this shade. So I'm just going to pack this color on at an angle very lightly. By the way, these shades are so pigmented. I'm a little bit obsessed with them. So I'm going to try create a V. That's what I did on this side. I'm going to go ahead and grab more Secret Lagoon. I'm slightly pushing the shade out. As you guys can tell, I'm like moving it outwards and then filling in the space right here. And I'm so sorry I didn't do the first impressions on this palette. I just got really excited when I got it in the mail and I just decided to play around with it. As you can tell. I've been dying to recreate that look that um, Karen has in her campaign. Lipstick Nick did an amazing job. You guys see how I created that like a little wing right there? The next shade I'm going to take is Hidden Cove. be taking that on my Morphe M507 brush. So now with this color, what I'm going to do is go on the outer edges of Secret Lagoon. And slightly bring this shade in my crease. I believe this is what Lipstick Nick did, judging by the colors that are in her eyes. But I could be wrong, but this is what I feel like she did. Nick can also be different. So now I did that, I'm going to go ahead and mix Secret Lagoon and then Cove together. Placing that back on that outer V that I created. because this part was pretty dark. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take Infinity Pool with a smaller brush. This is my M562 by Morphe. Go on the outer edges. And also dragging the shade in my crease as well. I 
blending these edges out a bit. Dispersing the shade a little bit in a portion of my lid. So now for the inner portion of the eye, I believe Lipstick Nick used Coastline Cruise and Reef Dive together. These two shimmers. I'm still using my Morphe M562. And I'm just going to concentrate this right here. So I believe there's some shimmer in that picture. I just can't really tell. And you wanna keep this space as clear as possible so I don't try to get anything on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Hidden Cove again. And I'll be using my Elf Time J Kissa J4 brush. Taking this in my crease as well. Really blending out Hidden Cove out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Sell Away. Using that same M562 brush, I'm gonna be taking this shade all over this area right here into the crease as well. Letting out anything I may see. And then with a clean brush, I'm gonna be taking my Morphe M330 and dispersing the shade right here. So there's not any harsh lines. Also cleaning up the outer edges right here with the same brush, diffusing everything. Looks like she added a bit of purple, so I'm gonna add Vineyard Escape. I'm taking a detailed brush. This is the HGH42 brush, and I'm gonna be placing this color right here with Secret Lagoon. Creating like a V shape. As you can tell, I'm mixing a lot of colors for this look. Next shade I'm going to use is Wonderlust. I'm going to be meshing that shade with Vineyard Escape with my Sigma E21 brush, a more detailed brush. Now with a flat, more detailed brush, I'm going to be taking just us two. And this shade's going to go all over the inner portion of my lid. Now I'm going to be taking Reveal I'm using that shade with my pinky finger and place it in the middle of the last two shades I used. I'm 
Go ahead and take a little bit more Wonderlust. I'm gonna deepen up the shade a little bit more. Go back in with the other lighter pink. For the inner corner highlight, I believe she mixed two shades. So I'm gonna be taking Coastline Cruise and mixing it with Windsurf, which is this shade right here. I'm gonna go ahead and mix those two together. Use this shade as my inner corner highlight. Now with another clean brush, I'm gonna go ahead and soften any lines I see. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back on. Actually, I forgot I wanted to show you if I had any fallout on my face. And as you can tell, I don't know if you can, if, if the camera's breaking it up. I had a little bit of fallout, but it could be because I was using shimmers and I was blending them out, but it's not bad at all, especially from this blue. I'm pretty impressed. So that's all I had to say, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so the next step is to line your waterline with any pencil you may have. I'm using my Makeup Amaro Super Black Crayon, and I'm gonna line the upper portion of my waterline. And then for the lower portion, I'm just gonna line half of it. So I'm not gonna go all the way in because I don't wanna close off my eye too much. I'm stopping halfway, not going too heavy. Now with the flat definer brush, I'm using my JH43 brush. I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Secret Lagoon. And I'm gonna stamp this close to my lower lashes. Now for my lower lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and mix shades Infinity Pool and Sell Away together. So these two. I really couldn't see what was underneath her lower lash line just because her eyes were closed in the picture and I'll show you in the picture that I showed you guys in the beginning. So at this point, I'm just guessing what's going on down there. All right, you guys, and this completes the eye look. I think I forgot to mention, but I did use my Beauty Creations Lashes and Style Insta Famous. So you guys are curious, that's what I'm wearing right now. All right, and I'll zoom you guys back out. All right, you guys, and this is it. I am so far loving how this look came out. I mean, it's not, I wouldn't say identical to this picture I have of her, but it was worth a shot. Honestly, I'm just so happy how this look came out. This literally made me push myself out of my comfort zone and try something different and be a little bit more spontaneous. So I love that. Overall, this palette is just gorgeous. I love the colors in here. Don't you die? I love these blues and these purples right here. Like this section right here, I see myself using a lot. And I believe I got this palette for $17. They were having a sale, or a, I would say like a, they were having like this promo for 30% off. I'm not sure if it's still going on, but I, I got this palette for $17.50 and originally it's $25, which is still steal. So if you guys are thinking about getting this, I believe it's worth a shot. And honestly, these colors are perfect for the spring and summertime. So see me using this a lot during that time. I'm so excited. I got my hands on this. And once I got it in the mail, I had to play with it. Honestly, I didn't get a lot of fallout on my cheeks when I was doing my makeup, which is really rare. Cause usually I feel like Morphe is really powdery, especially your eyeshadow. I'm not saying I didn't get any, but I did get a little bit, which was amazing. I, I thought I was gonna have a lot more of a mess on my face when I was done. And honestly, I feel like this is the prettiest palette I've seen from them. I've only gotten their collabs. Like I have the Jaclyn Hill palette, the volume one and two. I don't, I don't have the little mini ones 
that she came out with. And I also have my Madison Beer collection as well, which I also love. But out of just regular palettes, this is my first one. And honestly, Karen was the one that just sold this palette for me. Anything that Karen puts her face on, I want to get, which is really bad. <laughs> but I just love her so much and I just think that, you know, if she puts her face on something, I'm sure it's good. So, so far, I love this palette. It's so pretty. So if you guys have this palette or wanting to do something different, please make sure to recreate this video. Also, I did get the inspo from Lipsticks Nick. If I haven't mentioned that already, I'll leave her Instagram handle right here. She is the one that did Karen's makeup for the promo of this palette. So a huge thanks to her for inspiring me to do something a little bit more out of my comfort zone. And if you guys want me to do more looks with this palette, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know if you guys got it or, or are thinking about getting it. Let me know what kind of colors you guys want me to use next time. Okay guys, so that completes this tutorial. So make sure to like this video, comment below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. I do post every Sunday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.